Aloha, and you're watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less the new PCI Compliance Reporting Functionality in Big IP Application Security Manager version 10.1. And as always, a special thanks to OnlineStopWatch.com. So let's start the clock. So I've logged on to a Big IP version 10.1 unit. And here is the application security module. And underneath is Web Applications, which is where you want to click. And that'll spawn a new window. And here we have our web applications, and this one right here, the new test class, is the web app that I created. And if we go back to the other screen, uh, all you need to do here is classes under application security, which actually takes you to local traffic profiles. And this is just so you can see where you would create that, and that's where I had created it, just so you know where it is. So now if we go back to the Application Security Manager Web application screen, so here they are listed. Now what I want to do is go here to Reporting, and under Reporting there's a new option called PCI Compliance. And PCI continues to be a challenge for IT departments, and if you're unaware, uh, during the middle to the end of next year, 2010, the PCI Standards Organization will be coming out with a new set of uh, requirements for PCI, an updated one. And so here my new test class is listed. It is an active web application. If this doesn't have a green checkbox, it'll have an X if it's not active. And so this screen dis displays the application security PCI compliance report for each configured web application. And so you can see at a glance how the report compares to the PCI security criteria. And if an item meets the criteria, then ASM will show you a green check mark. If it does not meet the criteria here, it'll show the red X. And with each one, you can see view details, so it'll tell us what's going on. So right here, protect stored cardholder data. So let's click view details. Oh, okay, now it tells me that I need to enable data guard to make sure that numbers sensitive information gets masked on the way out. And so we just go over here to Data Guard. It's really neat, so each one will tell you. And we have my web application here and the policy. And so I'm just going to check credit cards. I'm going to check SSN. And this is very important right here, mask data. If you forget that, then uh, it won't get set. So just make sure you do this last little check for mask data and click Save. And so here you'll also see that it is an active policy, but it has been modified, M, changes. You can certainly click Apply Policy Now. Sure, let's activate it. And you can do this at various points along the way. It'll always show you an active policy, and there'll be a big red M if the policy's been modified. And now the, wet, the M has disappeared. So we've enabled all this and saved it. So let's go back to reporting and PCI compliance. And so now, pretty cool, protect stored cardholder data has a checkbox. And then you can do that for each of these. And so if you're unsure what you need to do to get into compliance for those particular requirements, Application Security Manager will let you know how to achieve it. So it makes PCI compliance quick and simple. And so there you have it. Back to the regular screen. In five minutes or less, the new Big IP Application Security Manager version 10.1 PCI reporting functionality. Hey, thanks for watching. And for F5, this is Peter Silva. Have a great day.